Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? I hope everybody's having a great day so far. I'm doing good. I'm up in the kitchen trying to throw together a little something for you all. And um, today I am making some spinach, well, lemon spinach spaghetti, okay? So basically, <laughs> I just got some spaghetti and I'm actually got, I got the veggie spaghetti. I wanted to try them. So I got some veggie spaghetti for this um, for this dish. So I got that. I got my spinach over here, just regular baby spinach. That's gonna go in there. That's gonna be the last thing that I put in there, okay? I got some chicken broth here, vegetable broth, I'm sorry. I'm so used to using chicken broth, but today I'm gonna be using vegetable broth. And I'm gonna use probably about two cups of this vegetable broth uh, it's gonna go in. I got one can of coconut milk. Um, you can get the light coconut, but I just got regular coconut milk, a um, 13 ounce can here. I got, I chopped up about a half an onion. I did some uh, garlic glow here. Took out about four of these and chopped these up with the onions. And what I did, I in my pot, I used a little bit of, um, a little bit of olive oil just a little bit of olive oil. I put that in the pot and I sauteed the onions and the garlic. And I also sauteed with that. After the onions and garlic did about two minutes or so, I chopped up some mushrooms and put them in there. So I had onions, garlic, and mushrooms sauteed with some olive oil in my pot. And once that sauteed, I put the two cups of um, vegetable broth the one can of milk, I put that off in here. Instead of boiling your spaghetti in water, you're just gonna do everything in one pot. And in, in the place of the water, I'm using the vegetable broth and the coconut oil to give it that coconut oil, that coconut milk, I'm sorry, not oil, but co coconut milk is gonna give it that creamy uh, sauce that, that, that I'm using to put on that. So I put all that in together. Now it's gonna take, uh, normally it takes, uh, Spaghetti, we all know, probably about eight to 10 minutes to cook. But by putting it in here and making it into a one pot and you're not just boiling with your water, it might take just a little bit longer, maybe about 12 to 15 minutes for it to cook because as you put it in your pot, you're gonna have to, um, you know, it's gotta boil down and get into your sauce and everything, okay? So I have all that in my pot right now. And I turned my heat down and um, I'm gonna put some lemon juice. I've already did the zest. Just get you a, a grater and just jet, uh, zest you a little lemon um, zest in there. I'm gonna do the lemon juice and I'm just gonna hold mine like this to keep any seeds from going off in there. And do that lemon juice off in there. All right, so one lemon should do it. One lemon should be enough. i throw that away. Wash that lemon juice off my hand. So I did that. I'm gonna let that cook in there for just a second. And the last thing I'm gonna put off in here is gonna be my, um, my spinach. I'm gonna put the spinach off in here. And like I said, you can do this with just regular spaghetti. You don't have to, you know, pick and choose what you wanna put in it. But, you know, like always, I'm trying, I'm always trying to do something healthy and to change it up a little bit. And some of my weakness is pasta and rice. Those are my two most weakness. So I'm always trying to come up with some things to do with the pasta and the um, rice to kind of, you know, make it as healthy as possible. I know you can't make pasta too healthy, but you know, I did do the veggie pasta, so maybe that'll make it a little better. At the very end, I'm gonna put us some um, red pepper flakes on it and let that do what it do. Okay. It's actually smelling pretty good. And then, you know, you can, you can add as far as your seasoning, you can put, you know, put your little salt and pepper in there to taste. Or if you want to dash some more seasons off in there, do that. Whatever seasons you want to do, you know, do what was to your taste. Do what, what you want to do. Whatever makes you happy. But this is just my little 
version of um, lemon spinach spaghetti. It's just my version of it. And I had some spinach because I had bought some spinach and some regular um, romaine to, uh, I mean, not romaine, but lettuce to kind of bind it, bind it together to make me a salad. So I had to get that together. So I'm gonna get ready. I'm actually gonna go ahead on and drop some spinach off in here just a little bit. I didn't cut it up or anything like that. It doesn't take spinach very long to, uh, to uh, wither up. So I'm just gonna put that up in there and let that do what it do with that, with that. Let it wither up and, and do what it do. Put that up in there with that. It's actually smelling really good. And like I said, if you need to add a little bit more liquid, you can pull you a little bit more. Uh, I'm gonna actually pull just a little bit more of um, chicken broth off in there. You know, if you wanna make it a little bit more creamier, you know, get you um, two cans of this, of your coconut milk and put it off in there. You know, I want my, my spinach to kind of, you know, wither up in here and get up in that flavor and stuff. But this is just granum, always trying to find something healthy, trying to lose a few pounds here or there, trying to be able to eat my pasta and rice and the stuff that I like. And I, you know, I have no problem doing without the um, <laughs> the meat. I can do without the meats, but pasta and rice, mm. <laughs> that's my weakness. So they can have the steaks, they can have you know, the chicken, the pork chops, they can have all that. I can definitely live without that, but I get weak when it comes to this pasta and stuff. Now I've used the vegetable pastas before. I have, and I can taste a different in them. I mean, you know, I, I like the vegetable pasta, but you know, of course when I'm cooking, I definitely have to think about what dad is gonna want to eat or if he's gonna eat any of it at all. So I try to make stuff and he really is not a spaghetti uh, pasta person. He can just do without pasta, period. So I'm basically just making this for myself and I'm gonna, you know, take my leftovers and put it in my little um, pre-packed uh, containers that I got and just, you know, eat on that. And I might end up, um, making a salad to go with this, or I might make me some boiled corn. I love corn. <laughs> or you know what, I, might, I got some peppers and I also have just um, some canned corn that I that I probably need to be using. It's getting close to the expiration. So I might just cut some peppers up in that corn, put that corn in a skillet with just a little bit of my uh, vegan butter and put the peppers and the corns in there. And, and you know, and just let that get a good heat on it and get saute on it. So I might just do that. That may be something that I end up doing right there. But yeah, yeah. Always online looking for some recipes. Always trying to come up with some, with some different stuff, honey. Always, always. And I've been reading quite a bit about um, vegan dishes and stuff. I know quite a few people that, um, is vegan and I've talked to them about different meals and how simple it is. And basically the what I get out of it and what I see, vegan is just vegetables. You're just basically eating vegetables and putting your spices in it and putting your twist on it to make it more tasteful. You know, that's what, I mean, there's a lot more out there that you can definitely do with your with your vegan when they talk about tofu and, and all that uh, jackfruit and, you know, all that, you know, when you are doing different vegans, um, vegan meals, but you know, the broth of it is just um, eating your vegetables. Just eating your vegetables. And that's, you know, I love vegetables. That's something I definitely can do. I can, I can eat vegetables all day long and don't have a problem with it and can eat it without the meat and I don't have to have meat to go with it. and. I mean, I was brought up in the country and we grew our own vegetables and you can't get any organic when you're growing it in your own garden, you know, and doing your own thing. So you definitely can't get any more organic when you're doing your own vegetables, okay? 
But you guys got what I said I put in there. I put one can of coconut milk. I put about two, maybe two and a half cups of the vegetable uh, broth because I added some more to it. I did one uh, box of my um, veggie spaghetti here. Okay, I chopped up a half an onion. I chopped up some garlic, uh, garlic uh, cloves and I sauteed them in the oil and then I'd added in some mushrooms. I chopped up some mushrooms and added that in the oil. Once all that came together, I put my spaghettis in. Well, before I put my spaghettis in, I added my liquid. I added my coconut milk and my vegetable broth. Then I put my, uh, my uh, noodles off in there, let that all come together and sprinkle um, a little of this red flakes, red pepper flakes. And then I did one lemon and I zested in there. And once I zested, then I took it and squeezed it through my hands and squeezed the lemon juice off in there, okay? So that's what I did. And you guys can use lemon juice if you don't have a lemon. You can just do lemon juice. You know, if you don't have a lemon around the house, do you some lemon juice, whatever, whatever you got on hand, you know, you don't have to, you know, if you don't have the veggie uh, spaghetti, you got regular spaghetti, do it with that. Try it with that. If you don't have spaghetti and you got some other type of pasta, use whatever you got, you know, use whatever you got. You kind of put your own little spin on it and everything. But that's what I did with that. And I'm about to go ahead and, and grab this up out of here and um, sit down here and finish talking y'all and eat it up. Yeah, let me go ahead and get this in here on my plate. Okay, put me some spaghetti in this bowl. All right, and I'll turn it off. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a few more flakes on this. I don't know, I don't know how it's gonna taste with the flakes on the top of it, but I don't know, it don't matter. I didn't really get too much, um, <laughs> too much on my spinach. I guess I didn't put enough off in there. I'll see if I can get a couple of pieces of spinach so you guys can see this color on here. Get a couple of pieces. I guess I did not put enough in there. All right. I'm gonna have to, next time I'm gonna have to put a little bit more spinach in there. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what I got here. I think it looks pretty, you know. There you go. There you go, right there. You see that? See that dish right there? Yeah. You guys see that? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna sit down here and let me get my little stool. I'll be right back. Be right back. I'm gonna grab my stool so I can sit down and finish up this little conversation with y'all. Okay, here I go. All right, so we're almost there. We're almost at the end of the time, but I'm just gonna sit here for just a second. I'm gonna try this. And it ain't nothing special. Like I said, I have not put any salt or pepper on it yet. I, you know, after I taste it, I try to, I do that. Okay, let me go ahead and get a little bite here. Mmm, that's really good. I definitely taste the uh, lemon. I taste the lemon. It's creamy with that coconut milk in it. It's really good by me uh, sprinkling these red pepper crushes over the top of it. It's got a little kick to it, but it's really good. It is very good. And of course, like I said, I got my spinach in here. I can taste my garlic in here. <clears throat> I can taste my onions and my uh, mushrooms is in there and stuff. So it's really good. Uh, if you guys want to try it out, give it a try. Let me know what you think about it. Like I say, it will take... Your spaghetti is just a little bit longer because you're not boiling in water. You're just boiling it in with way less liquid, but you're boiling it with your vegetable stock and your coconut milk. So it's gonna take the spaghetti just a little bit longer where we normally take it no more than 10 minutes to cook. It might take an additional five minutes for, your, for it to cook, okay? All right, before I get up out of here, guys, make sure you're, um, still wearing your mask, you're still social distant. I know we're getting to the point, this is the 1st of April, I know where we where I'm at, they're about to lift the mask audience, but if you're gonna be out, still wear it to protect yourself. 
Uh, if you get a chance, or now I'm not even gonna say get a chance, I need you to go back, share my video with your family and friends, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and just have a great day. But my look, lemon spinach spaghetti, okay? Lemon spinach spaghetti dish. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Y'all have a, a great day. I'm going to see you next time around.